Let's take a look at the lesson, Subtraction Sentences with Numbers Up to 18. This says, Mason needs to read six pages of his book before the end of the night. If he has read four pages, how many does he have left to read? Write a subtraction sentence that fits the story. An example would be five minus four is equal to one. So we know that Mason needs to read six pages. If he has already read four pages, they want to know how many he has left. That lets me know we're going to take away the four that he has already read to see how many he has left to read. Let's see why this works. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here are six for the six pages he needs to read. But if he has already read four, one, two, three, four, then he will only have these left. There is one, two, two left. So six minus four is equal to two. All right, Brianna donated one picture book to the library. Now the library has a total of three picture books. How many picture books did the library have before the donation? Write a subtraction sentence that fits the story. Example, five minus four is equal to one. All right, so we know that Brianna donated one picture book. That is not going to be the number that we start with, though, in our subtraction equation because it is not the larger number. We, that is not the number we're taking away from. We know that the library has a total of three picture books now after Brianna gave them one book. We want to know how many they had before she donated one. So we're going to take away the one she donated to see how many they had. So if they have three now, and we know this is the one that Brianna donated, we're gonna take it away to figure out how many they had before she donated. They had one, two, two. So three minus one is equal to two. That is our equation. Samantha washed five dishes this evening. One of those were glasses. How many plates did Samantha wash? write a subtraction sentence that fits the story. So she washed five dishes and only one of them was glasses. So how many plates did she wash? So we know that there were five dishes all together and one was a glass. So we took away the one to find out how many were left. So if we know that there's one, two, three, four, five dishes all together and we know that just this one was a glass, the rest have to be plates. So we took away the one to find out how many were plates. There's one, two, three, four. So five minus one is equal to four. All right, Jacob purchased a box of red and blue pens containing five in total. If the box contains three red pens, how many blue pens does the box contain? Write a subtraction sentence that fits the story. Well, we know that there were five pens in total, and we know that three of them are red, so we are gonna take away the three that are red to find out how many are blue. Let's see why this works. One, two, three, four, five. Well, if we know that some are red and some are blue, we know that this one's red, this one's red and this one's red. So there are three red. So we're going to take away those three, one, two, three, to find out how many are blue. How many are blue? One, two, two. So five minus three is equal to two. All right, Nick had a to-do list containing five items for the day. By lunch, he completed two items. How many items does Nick have left? Write a subtraction sentence that fits the story. So we know that he had a to-do list containing five items for the day, but by lunch he completed two of those, so we get to take two of those off of his list. How many would he have left on his list? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five things to do, and he's already done two of them. One, two. So five minus two is equal to one, two, three. Great, five minus two is equal to three.
Ryan donated one picture book to the library. Now the library has a total of six picture books. How many picture books did the library have before the donation? Write a subtraction sentence that fits the story. Well, we know that the library now has a total of six, but we want to know how many they had before Ryan donated one. So we're going to take away the one he donated to see how many they had. Let's see why this works. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right now the library has a total of six, but we want to know how many did they have before Ryan donated one? So let's take off the one that Ryan donated and this is how many they had. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. And that makes sense because five is one less than six. So six minus one is equal to five. All right, Landon needs to read four pages of his book before the end of the night. If he has already read two pages, how many does he have left to read? Write a, sub a subtraction sentence that fits the story. So we know he needs to read four pages, but he has already read two, so we get to take away those two and see how many he has left. So if he has four pages to read and he read two of them, this is how many he would have left. One, two, two left. So four minus two is equal to two. Connor bought a box of donuts containing three donuts. If he eats one donut, how many donuts are left? Write a subtraction sentence that fits the story. So we know he had three donuts and he ate one of them. So we're going to take one away and see how many he has left. I could draw a picture, but we can also think, well, what is one less than three? What is the number right before three? Yeah, two. Because three, and we just take away one, that would be two. So three minus one is equal to two. Okay, Nick purchased a box of red and blue pens containing six in total. If the box contains one red pen, how many blue pens does the box contain? Choose a subtraction sentence that fits the story. Well, we know that there are six pens in total and we know that one is red and all the rest are blue. So we need to take away the one red one to see how many are blue. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that one is red this one here. So let's cross off this red one and all the rest are blue. One, two, three, four, five. So six minus one is equal to five. Here we have six minus five is equal to one. No, that's not right. We didn't take away five. Five minus one is equal to six. Nope, that's not true either. All right. Six minus one is equal to five. Ah, six minus one is equal to five. Yes. But let's check the last one. Six minus one is equal to four. 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. Nope, it's not this one either. All right, so it's this one. Caleb needs to read 9 pages of his book before the end of the night. If he has read 7 pages, how many does he have left to read? Choose a subtraction sentence that fits the story. Well, we know that he needs to read 9, and he's already read 7, so let's take away those 7 he's already read. How many does he have left? Let's draw a picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's cross off all the ones he's read. He's read seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has one, two left to read. So nine minus seven is equal to two. Do you see that down below? Can you point to it? Yes, it's right here. Nine minus seven is equal to two. Fantastic job, friends.